This is the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. While it's not the newest mouse in the Logitech range, it's still up there as being one of the best productivity mice. While you could get its newer brother in the 3S, which features updated ergonomics and internals, you'll have to sacrifice those hard earned pennies. So why would you do that when you can have a mouse that's a lot more cost effective and it still delivers those productivity essentials? Let's take a closer look at this mouse. It comes in dark gray, it's made out of plastic, but still retains a high quality and premium feel. You can connect this mouse to your PC, Linux or Mac via Bluetooth or with the USB wireless receiver provided. You can buy some Logitech mice that are designed for Mac computers in the format range. I use this on my Mac Mini and I found that with some other Logitech mice in that format range because of the forever ongoing Bluetooth issues that you can get on Macs and the connectivity problems that are associated with accessories like mice and keyboard. For the time being, I'm sticking with the non-format mice and other accessories, which are equally as capable as those ones. There's a speed adaptive scroll wheel, which by pressing the button below the scroll wheel, you can vary the speed between click to click, which has the more familiar feel of a scroll wheel, and the setting that I tend to have it on most of the time, and hyper fast scrolling, which sometimes when you are scrolling on a mouse, the lack of feedback on a scroll wheel does feel a little unnatural and can feel like you're almost losing the scroll of the button. The rest of the top surface of the mouse features the regular left and right click buttons. On the left side or thumb side of the mouse, you've got the second scroll wheel. This one ideal for horizontal scrolling as opposed to vertical scrolling that you get with the one that's on the top side of the mouse. Next to the scroll wheel are two buttons, which by default are mapped to the forward and back desktop commands. And just when you thought this mouse couldn't fit in any more buttons, there are hidden ones within this seemingly inconspicuous thumb support area. Within this area, you'll find gesture controls and the clickable button itself, acting like a sort of shift button on a keyboard, giving you the ability to fully customize five gestures from just clicking the button to holding and moving the mouse in one of the four directions. By default, this is set to the window navigation presets. Now let's quickly run through the rest of the mouse. On the same side as the gesture controls, you'll see the battery level indicator, which is shown when you first turn on the mouse. The on off switch is located at the bottom of the mouse. One full charge of this mouse can last up to 70 days, depending on your usage. And if you do find yourself with a depleted battery, three minutes of charge by the micro USB port at the front will give you one full day's worth of charge. One of the things that makes this mouse a productivity master is its ability to control different devices and seamlessly switch and connect to them by the press of a button. This button allows you to connect up to three different computers, tablets or phones. I've got this one connected via Bluetooth to two of my devices at the moment, my Mac mini and my iPad via the Bluetooth. But with the USB wireless receiver, I'm also able to connect my 2014 MacBook Pro. Although this mouse is a bit larger than some mice, it's still very comfortable to use. And the ergonomic shape may be a put off for some, but it does mean that your hand is in a slightly elevated position, which actually feels different over time compared to a conventional mouse. But what I've found is I'm still able to use this mouse for long periods of time. At 145 grams, yes, yes, it is quite weighty. But as you're gliding the mouse across the table surface, you'll not notice this. And thanks to its high precision tracking, there's no surface that I've found that this mouse doesn't track well on. And even though it's a radical change compared to the smaller Logitech Pebble, which I've been using for a while, those additional buttons at the side and the gesture controls are so comfortable, easy to learn, and this makes this mouse so natural to use. I've not used this mouse for much gaming other than casually playing Minecraft, which is hardly a tester for its gaming credentials, but casual gamers will be fine with the low latency on this, but those more seasoned gamers playing those games where reaction times and zero latency are a must may prefer a smaller, lighter, and wired mouse. If you want to use this mouse to its full customizable capabilities, then you're gonna to wanna to install Logitech Options Plus on your computer. It's gonna allow this mouse to be working for you. From here, you're able to change every button, except the left and right click buttons, to almost any action or keyboard shortcut that you want, and even further customize those buttons to be different across different apps. As you can see here, I've got the standard controls for the majority of buttons, but I've customized a few of the gestures for my general use of the computer. But in more specialized apps like Avenity Photo and DaVinci Resolve, I've tailored those same buttons to have actions that I use most within those apps, and as I find more actions within other apps that I need, I'll customize the mouse controls to those as well. 
This is the Logitech Flow compatible mouse, which means that you're going to be able to control up to three devices simultaneously, even across different operating systems, cut and paste files, text and images across those same devices all at the same time, just by moving the cursor to the edge of the screen on one device and it magically appearing on your other connected device, giving you that total control. In my workflow, I've also got this connected to my MacBook Pro via the wireless USB receiver, which sits next to my Mac Mini. So just by going over to the edge of the screen, waiting for the system to recognize that I'm wanting to go to the screen on the other one, the cursor magically appears on the other screen. And if you've got a compatible keyboard, you're also able to take that flow connection over with the mouse as well. So I'm able to take text from the MacBook and paste it onto the Mac Mini. The productivity master at work with its built-in easy switch technology. My one downer about mice, not just this one, but all mice like this, is that they are designed for right-handers. And me being a left-hander, although I can use mice like this in both hands, with this I'm forced to use this full-time in my right hand. So my one wish is, please design mice for left-handers. So that's the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse, a feature-packed productivity machine that's comfortable to use, should make your workflow smoother and more efficient, making it ideal for your everyday use. I use this mouse with the Logitech K780 keyboard and together they complement each other both visually, but the way they work together and it's perfect. If you've got any questions on this mouse, just let me know in the comments below and go check out my reviews on the Pebble mouse and the K780 keyboard if you want some other devices from Logitech. And thanks for watching. Press the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more productivity content just like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.